Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale the Mocha Master KBG coffee maker. So this is a coffee maker that cost over $300 and they've got kind of specific instructions on how to descale it. They want you to use a certain brand of descaler and not white vinegar. So this is the brand they want you to use. U-R-N-E-X and it's D-E-Z Cal. And I was able to find it on Amazon. You can get a two pack two pack for $15, but that's, if you can get the single, they were out of the single packs. I'd get the single pack because there's four of these pouches and you're only gonna use one pouch when you descale this coffee maker every three months. So that's enough for almost, yeah, that's enough for a whole year is one box. But it was out of stock, so I had to get the two boxes. But the instructions are on the side. I'm gonna go over them, they're a little hard to read but you're gonna dissolve one packet into 32 ounces of warm water. You're gonna pour it into the reservoir, and then you're gonna turn the machine on and brew the descaling agent through it, and then you're gonna do three fresh water rinses. Now the manual for the Mocha Master, it doesn't go into great detail, but they do specifically say what to use. They want you, we recommend using the Descal by Urnex for descaling your brewer. And it says to do it every three months or 100 cycles, 100 brews. And they say that if you have a filter box that has 100 filters in it, just descale it every time you have to order new filters. Okay, so I measured out 32 ounces. Um, I got this measuring cup. It's, it's basically four cup measuring cups of water. So here I've got my four or my 32 ounces of warm water in the coffee pot. And again, these don't have markings on it, so it's, you know, it's just right above the, the label. But I'm going to cut this open, and we're going to pour it in there. So it didn't mention about stirring it, but I'm going to stir it just to kind of make sure it gets all dissolved. I think they kind of want you to get it dissolved. And it's, it's all pretty well dissolved in there. Again, I'll put, a dis I'll put a link in my description of where you can buy this off of Amazon. If you do buy it off of the link, I do get a little bit of money from that, and that'll help support me when I buy stuff off of Amazon to do reviews. So thanks for your support. So up here, again, we're going to make sure we don't need any coffee or filter, and we're just going to have the filter basket in there, put the lid on, and now we're going to dump this descaling solution into the Mocha Master Reservoir. And it, it pretty well all dissolved. I'm glad I stirred it though. I would definitely recommend stirring it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this down here. Make sure that's right, that's right. And then you're simply just gonna turn it on. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna brew that descaling solution through the machine. Now this has got a, co a copper heating element. And I think that's why they really recommend using um, this type of descaling agent. That it's made specifically for the Mocha Master. I mean, they even have a picture of the Mocha Master on the side. Now, you're, you're going to want to give yourself a bout. So, this first brew is going to take... Oh, this first brew will take probably five or six minutes. And then we need to do three fresh water rinses and we're going to rinse everything. So I'd say within 45 minutes, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, you ought to have this done. So again, there's the descaling agent going through. You might see some uh, white uh, calcium deposits in here or you might see some white calcium deposits at the bottom of your coffee maker. That's the nice thing about these Mocha, Mocha Masters is they, they do run their water through the machine pretty quick. So this one's finishing up. And as soon as it's done, I'm just gonna turn the, the power off so we don't need to keep the warming plate on or anything. Okay, so it's done. I'm just gonna turn the power off. And now it's a good idea. We're gonna take this over to the sink. So I'm gonna rinse this out with soap and water. And same with this. 
I'm going to dump this down the sink. Again, you may have some stuff in there, calcium deposits or something. But I'm going to rinse all this out with soap and water and get it all nice and, and clean. Okay, so I rinsed everything off with soap and water. I filled this up to the tin mark with just fresh water. And I'm going to do three fresh water rinses through here. Again, I'm going to make sure there's no filter. No, I don't need anything up there. This is nice and cleaned out. I'm just simply going to turn the coffee maker on. Now, I did notice, so if some of that descaling solution kind of splattered around onto your metal, make sure you wipe it off. I think that descaling solution is kind of corrosive, and this is really nice metal. And so these are called the fresh water rinses, and we're going to do three of them. That's what the um, book recommends, and that's what this recommends. So, again, give yourself about a half hour, 45 minutes. But the nice thing about these Mocha, uh, Mocha Masters is they do run their water through really quick. So you might want to do this also if your coffee is starting to taste bad, if your coffee maker is taking a long time to make coffee, or if your coffee is not as hot as it used to be. So these Mocha Masters are known for their really, really hot coffee. And so if your coffee is not coming out as hot as it used to be, these are all good signs that it's time to descale. I do also have a video on a detailed review. I really like this Mocha Master. I do think it makes a pretty, it makes a really good cup of coffee. And there's a lot going on with it. And I kind of explain um, what I think of it and the temperatures and all that. So check out that video. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.